Rimrims, I'm afraid that I have some terrible news. We are, in fact, going to have to end the series here today. I, do, I mean, despite the fact that we succeeded with both of those quests yesterday, despite the fact that I had a lot of fun finally putting this colony through its paces and, uh, of course, sadly, losing two people to unrelated things entirely, this run has been deemed as unsalvageable chaos. Which is strange when, uh, given that 95% of the comments in the comment section yesterday were people offering some pretty good insight, in my opinion, to, of course, the combat systems into RimWorld. There's some good discussion of things such as run and gun, which, of course, I'm not using in this series, but do normally use quite heavily. It was an interesting talk of the development of the stories in the game, of course, how all the plans have for, for the next particular Arca Nexus has changed because of the outcome of some of the characters' unrelated tangential deaths. Mechanoids don't generally kill you from malnutrition, but we'll pretend that that's not an issue. Happens every single time. Jury Egypt being a classic example. Yes, beloved classic Jury Egypt, a series I had some of the most fun in, a series that people frequently talk about as being one of the best, was also unsalvageable chaos. And of course, this commenter must be onto something that I took those quests out of, uh, out of boredom, rather than, of course, wealth directly correlating to victory, because we all know that's not the case. I mean, unless, of course, in this case, wealth does directly correlate to victory. But that would be very unlikely, I think. Would you like to see the face of unsalvageable chaos, my friends? Would you like to see the face of unsalvageable chaos? That's right. Gaining 2,000, 3,000 silver is the face of unsalvageable chaos. Okay, maybe aside from the two barely related deaths and, of course, the absolutely no permanent damage that the rest of our people took along with the increased colony wealth, maybe this isn't totally unsalvageable chaos. Maybe it's just salvageable chaos. Maybe that's the case. We can build back up from this. Maybe it'll be 30, 40 episodes of me building back up to all that wealth, but we'll get there. 2,000. That's a hard loss. Slow down there, flippers. This is supposed to be unsalvageable. Now, of course, I'm a very busy person. This is quite annoying, so now I'm going to have to ring around and make sure that the orderlies know that somebody has escaped their padded cell and instead of smearing shit all over the walls, they're instead smearing it in my comment section. That's a little inconvenient. But you know, I'm just doing my duty as a good citizen after all. <laughs> That's just a heads up for any of you considering YouTube then. Uh, just, just remember that if you build your colony weapons and armor and a, a significant amount of defenses and you want to capitalize on that by taking quests which are quite combat heavy in exchange for goods and services which are otherwise pretty much unobtainable, just try and avoid any negative consequences unrelated whatsoever. For example, Goat Hammer taking a uh, significant amount of brain damage from a previous unrelated raid that was a pollution retaliation and then subsequently dying of malnutrition. Otherwise, that will be uh, uh, bundled in with the other unsalvageable chaos that occurred. Let's get all of these mechanoids recycled so we can salvage things somewhat. <laughs> I genuinely thought that was quite fun. I thought it was a good flex of this colony to see how far we'd come from, uh, you know, naked brutality, a totally butt-naked man in an unmodded world to be defending against, quite frankly, a tremendous amount of mechanoids, like a ridiculous amount. I also should clarify that, because uh, this comes up every time, like 99% of the comments of people being like, that was a cool fight, and I totally agree. I thought the same, um, and I'm not angry about that one person who was clearly just memeing about this being unsalvageable cast. I don't think you're that brain dead. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that. Okay, you're watching this channel, so clearly you must be doing something right. <laughs> or something terribly wrong. <laughs> I'm not over-exaggerating here. We didn't take any damage whatsoever from that raid. There was no permanent injuries. No arms were blown off. No people were ha had any significant issues other than what they already had. And all of this was basically from social fights. This game remote is also very sadly not a uh, perfect combat simulator, shall we say. There are so, so many ways to cheese it. It's been massively documented over many, many channels. I personally don't enjoy doing that. I, I don't enjoy using the cheese mechanics, the melee with the doors, and the long-range weapons, and of course, the jump packs, which I, I used last last series to great effect, but that was a desert series. It was us fighting the Empire. I think that was acceptable. This series, I'm obviously not going to be doing that, so we're just going to survive as is more or less intended the way to go about things. Now, today, we've had our excitement. We got a tremendous amount of really, really good upgrades. Even though this is unsalvageable chaos, we did uh, get some tremendously good upgrades, which aren't in the stockpile yet, of course. They're not contributing to wealth and all of that crap. So this is uh, a massive, massive gain for the colony. Five digits or so remaining means that all I have to do is take a couple of quests that aren't particularly dangerous. Two infestations is is pretty simple. Ooh, hello. I forgot that the base game consisted almost exclusively of just throwing raid after raid after raid at you. Like, does this count as cheesing? Me baiting over a few at a time? Does this count as cheesing? 
I guess it probably is. I probably should avoid that. We should fight it as, as RimWorld is intended. Oh, God, this is looking an awful lot like unsalvageable chaos. Dennis Doug, careful. Carefully, Captain Birdseye. Those foxes do have very pointy teeth, after all. <laughs> no! One bite! Unsalvageable! Oh, good God. We took more permanent damage from that one raid than we did from all of those mechanoids yesterday. <laughs> well, that tells a story, doesn't it? You okay, Crafty? What happened? Did somebody break down and go and attack the cows? Well, let me undersell things too much, though. We did lose three mechanoids that we can immediately regenerate, but that's not the point. We do have to spend time rebuilding that we could have spent standing around waiting for Psychoid to grow. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'll stop being so tremendously sarcastic and cynical. I'm sorry, I'll stop now. It is solely just a difference of opinion, okay? I respect your opinion. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, good, more mechanoids. Oops, I accidentally closed it. Hello? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hello? Oh, that one's a bit more. Oh, you son of a bitch. Every time with this shit, it's already fucking firing. Why? Why do you keep doing this? Why do you always like Ankle Shanker on fire? What has Ankle Shanker done to deserve this? <laughs> it's always you. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Oh, there you go. There's combat command at long last. Yeah, shit. No! Not the guinea pig. Anything but the goddamn guinea pig. You're entering the Dennis Zog no so oh so, what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. You don't have to listen to me. Careful. Careful. Dennis Zog. Dennis Zog. Dennis Zog. Dennis Zog. I need to start. Oh, Dennis Zog in a different direction. There you go. And done. Problem solved. What a guy! God, I love Dennis Zog. Dennis Zog was damaged by Dennis Zog. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Here's another RimWorld hack. Just don't let your people sleep, and that way they can't have mental breakdowns. It's genius. I mean, it works for me. What? Crafty had inspired, in uh, inspired creativity. And finally finished that goddamn sniper that I queued up yesterday. Holy shit. Oh my god, you actual legend. All on this a gathering to celebrate Crafty and Flippers' managers. Why would you have your wedding there? Oh, God. Outside in the dirty park. This isn't for weddings. This is for dogging. What's wrong with you? Why not both? A very spicy wedding. <laughs> ah, look at that. Oh, this is so nice. Sorry, I didn't mean look at that. Sorry, shit. Sorry, Codex. Somebody did point out in the comments that I said, don't look behind you to Codex when he was running away from those mechanisms yesterday. You know, I didn't mean it like that. Okay? It's just, I, I, to me... He's no different. He is, a, he, is, he is the same as the rest of us, okay? He's a goddamn human being. He's also not an idiot. He understands the concept of don't look behind him. Lovely marriage ceremony. Honestly, that was, that was, it was incredible. That was moving. It was deeply moving. Horrific aging, minus 10. Oh, oh God, terrible aging. No, neuro supercharger. Yeah, look, look, look. We've, got to, we've got to deal with some of the ideology stuff now. I don't want to give up on Marine Allah, but I think we do have to just move away. Just temporarily, right? Let's go near a supercharge then. Let's get that done. And then we're going to need bio-sculpting as well, which is a massive penny. What I've done is I've built a little triage sensor, right? It's filthy. It's disgusting. It's, it's better than nothing. It's better than dragging them down here because we got a couple of close calls yesterday. The I... Stop this. The ideal situation would be to uh, throw down sterile towers and everything else, turn it into a proper hospital. But I don't think that's entirely necessary for a triage sensor. Why do you keep doing this? You are actually driving me nuts. We cannot have this many different ideologies anymore. It's, it's infuriating. You did not just do that. How did you even do that? I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. Captain Bird's eye shattered Dennis Zug's torso and killed him. He was fully healed. I don't understand. He was fully healed. He had a calculator and a healing enhancer. Oh my god, because his torso was already... His torso was already scarred to the point that only a couple of bruises would have killed him. What was that old gunshot? That does five damage. That does three. So hold on. He was, thir he was 32 out of 40. Oh my God. Look at how much damage you just did to him. No. 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 No memes. Okay. No memes. We're putting the memes. Up. The memes were in bed a second. We're leaving the memes alone. Yesterday... You can joke, but it was fine. It was well handled. Everything was fine. The two deaths, incidental. Okay, malnutrition, whatever gives a shit. The other one, you could argue, you know, sadness, we could have saved. That right there is bullshit. That is bullshit. I mean, it makes sense. Mathematically, it adds up. It wasn't a bug. It wasn't a glitch. She just killed him. Well, I mean, on the plus side, I don't have to pick and choose who to take with us to the Arco Nexus now. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, he genuinely was one of our best characters. Oh my god, the miso the misogyny cost him his life. Well, isn't that some shit? I feel slightly less bad. She walks past, he calls her a big bitch, so she kills him. Honestly. Oh, he was also a boomer. Honestly, I don't hate it. I don't hate that. I mean, I hate the, the fact that a social fight can lead to death in the base game. That's nonsense. I mean, he'll certainly pick his fights a bit more. He insulted a noseless, legless woman. And she killed him for it. That was the Hound versus Brienne of Tarth. She just absolutely handed him his ass. I'm so annoyed. I don't know. I, I, I'm stunned. I don't know what the fuck to do. I guess we just bury him and move on. What, what do I do? Do I execute her for her crimes? Do I execute her for her crimes? She's, she's not guilty. Look, she doesn't have the guilty motif. It doesn't say guilty. My rival Dennis Zug died. So he started the fight because she's not guilty. This drove Dennis Zug. Captain Birdseye compared Dennis Zug's nephew to a bandit. It wasn't Dennis Zug's fault. I'd like to take back everything I said. I just besmirched his character. I called him a boomer and a misogynist, which he is, is according to his character biome. She was the one that did it. But because he started the fight, he's not guilty. She's not guilty. <sighs> Dig him a grave. Dig him a grave. Dig him a grave. Fucking sucks. <laughs> is that immersive storytelling or is that just like kind of bullshit? Oh, whatever. Yeah, you got to accept it. It's part of life here on the rim, okay? This is unsalvageable chaos because now we've got to try and defend however much fucking money has come out of it. $231,000 with five people. Even though it is quite unceremonious, right? One of our main characters, one of our most important characters suddenly just dying through, through, through random, total random chance, a roll of the dice. Now he's gone forever. We can use this as a way to develop the story rather than a roadblock to us progressing on, right? This colony has a consistent issue with social fights, right? And that is a side effect of Codex being, you know, focused on his goal. He was the one who who saw the architects. He's the one who wanted to fight them. But it wasn't until Goatham turned up that he was able to convince other people that maybe this is true. You know, two of them both saying the same thing. It's a little, it's a little harder to disbelieve it, right? Of course, since then, we've converted Captain Birdseye, but there's still so many social fights because we've got such a divided colony. So I think we convert Crafty and we convert Ankushanka as well. I think we get total colony unity under one ideology. So if we can prioritize converting other people as soon as possible, problem is now we've only got... We're only going to have three participants with each one. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going to be very hard to convert them right now. When we start the next colony and expectations are as low as they can be, that's when we can definitely get some heavy conversions. You know the real big pain in the ass now? That was one of our other drugs crafters. So now we've only got crafty. Oh, God. This could be the beginning of the end, couldn't it? This could be it. If this is like five centipedes, we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, that's fine. Thank you for pulling your punches a bit. I appreciate that. Beautiful boy, run. Get out of there. I'm not losing anyone else today. Especially not you. Okay, uh, Captain Birdseye. On the plus side, we focus all our melee stuff on Captain Birdseye now. So you got to look at the silver linings here. Okay, maybe I don't focus it all on. To be fair, you're missing a leg, okay? I'm not going to blame you too much right now. Okay, we'll get the bionic sorted soon. I really am going to have to make sure these people are fighting at like 100% efficiency. Preferably more than that at this stage. There you are, stinky one bionic leg for Captain Birdseye. I'm going to give Captain Birdseye a lot of stuff. I'm going to give Captain Birdseye a new leg, I think, at the very minimum. Let's make sure we swap out the right leg here, because that would be embarrassing. Uh, I'm going to give you that Arco arm that I guess I was going to give to Dennis Zug. Oh! No one can do the doctoring. Wait, flippers? <laughs> oh, no. Um, if we ever find a medical neuro trainer, that would be uh, amazing. Noise, are you any good? You're, you're a five-year-old child. No, then. Um... Bollocks. How the hell am I going to do that? We have to wait for some sort of some sort of medical change. Forget it. Unless you're willing to operate on yourself. I'm sorry. There's, there's actually nothing I can do. Silent Neuroformer to Crafty. Crafty will make another good Mechanita. What did you get? Chunk Skip. Uh, That's not bad. That might help speed up some production, I suppose. If you use it for his intended purpose of combat, I'd use it to try and speed up some else. Ooh, I will take that for some free wealth. Thank you. You love gold or 43 gold and gold is worth like ten dollars each right look at that this is a lot of money i'm not gonna figure out how much but it's a lot of money there may be a change of plan i think we might be fighting the diablos i was gonna save that for the next map i think we need to do it now 
because our freezer is overflowing with a tasty amount of psychoid. And we could make fabricors, but they need high mech tech, don't they? Oh, God, they do. So we'd have to fight the Diabolus and the War Queen. What the hell am I going to do here? Okay, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Deep drills. Deep drills because we've got plenty of, plenty of steel. What's that? Uranium. You got steel up there. Steal that. Okay, this is fine. Steal. When's Codex's aid off of cooldown? 11 days. So maybe in 11 days then, we call the Diabolus, we call in our friends, and we we, oh, oh, we save it for the War Queen. We could probably take out the Diabolus, I think. Let's make a little headset for Codex. Oh my god, I just wasted. I didn't even realize you had it again. Oh, for god's sake. Minus four. Rebuffed by Ankle Shank. This is the worst timeline. This is the worst, worst timeline. Why does this game not take that into account? This is horrific. I hate it. Let's get those neural supercharger sources. Sorry, I should have just stuck with that instead of going for marine armor. We've got some marine armor in the stockpile. With that plus the shield belt, it's going to be better than your, your flak stuff anyway. There you go. Do you have a better weapon for Captain Birds? I'm going to give you Dennis Sugg's Plasteel Axe so that you will always carry that as a burden. Oh, good. And there's the other bionic arm for Captain Bird's Eye. No, what we need is a doctor. Mol Boomok. I swore revenge against them, but if they give me a good doctor, maybe... I will let them off. No good doctor. No good doctor. Listen, I need someone with you. I mean, at least six medical is what I'm really after. Whoop. Pop. Wooer has <laughs> 10 medical double passion. That was a siege, right? Uh, Captain. No, no. Flippers. Flippers. Bring that sniper. Don't go out that door. Flying on the sniper strategy when our best shooter is blind is probably not the right play. I guess we just shoot the, shoot the mortar. Fire. Nice. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then immediately they'll start sieging, right? So maybe, maybe run. Maybe run that little fella. Maybe run. You've done it. Oh, they've got another one. Motherfucker. How did I miss that? <laughs> okay, okay. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Go, go, go. How many did you kill? Oh, shit. That was bloody loads. Nice, nice. Good dodges. Good dodges. Good dodges. Beautiful boy. Beautiful boy. Don't look behind you. Just keep going. Yes. Oh, you've just made a classic blunder there, haven't you? Anybody up for some bacon? Mmm, tasty. Look, we need to try and take one of these people alive. Okay, we need to take one of them alive, though. Oh, my God, they're all dead. They're all fucking dead. They're all dead. No, I need a doctor. Medical 10. Medical 10. Medical 10. Everybody, uh, melee attack, go. Punch this pig. Where the fuck are they going? Where are you going? No, you... Why are you running? You don't get to run. I need a friend. Are you good? You've got no medical, so it needs to be pop war. It needs to be pop war. Go. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. Oh. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> okay. 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 Meat's back on the menu. I don't mean it in that way. Is everybody okay? We all good? You're fine. Bird's eye? You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go. Run. 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 Okay. Pop war. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Death in three hours. You are absolutely fine. Boom. Welcome to the colony, Pop war. Oh, I'm so happy. Get them converted first. We've learned the lesson. Ooh. Hello. Transport pod crash. An industrial orphan named Jam. Jam, hello. It's an Itakin, right? Oh, it's a bloddy high, mate. It's a high, mate. Oh, the modded game accusations are never going to end. Social 12, hello there. Anyone anyway, are going to send the whole colony to run over there, and the first one gets who gets there can contend them. We're not going to get there in time. We're not going to get there in time. We're actually not going to get there in time. What's that rat doing? Hey, fuck off. <laughs> I believe. I believe. I believe. N not a chance. Actually, not a chance. Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, God, I thought that was a gift. Bruh, you are, you are really starting to, you really starting to get on my fucking nerves there, Cassandra Classic. For Christ's sake, this is nonsense. Yeah, whatever, live there. Live there, that's yours now. That's the insect house. I don't care. Hold on. Paying his virtue would be absolutely the right choice. I mean, it's the other thing that was the most highly voted, right? So I'm probably just going to do it anyway. Not because our people are heavily scarred and injured, though that would be a massive benefit. But because pain increases side casting effectiveness. Well, that's one problem, Sol, but we definitely can't do age reversal. I'm sorry. I cannot have these people sat in a pod for like two weeks. It just won't work. We'll die. This game's only going to let me have five people. I'm going to turn them into the five best people you've ever goddamn seen. <laughs> sorry, I just remembered Ankle Shanker and their um, incredible stats. I suppose without further ado, put it on the list. What do you think? Four lots of marine armor. Do us a favor. Call up the Diabolus. Because I have a feeling these insects might be helping us out slightly. Oh, shit. Where did it land? Oh, <gasps> Close. Close. Oh, that's great. That's actually so good. Okay, that might work perfectly then. Hold on. 
Where are you going to go? Are you going gonna to run up there? Are you going to... Oh, and the core troop squad is off the cooldown, right? If we really panic. Are you going to run up there and fight those mechanoids for me? Beginning their assault. Here we are. Are they going to... What are they doing? They're attacking that. Okay. <gasps> Lifter. Lifter. Am I about to use you as bait? I might be. Oh, I might be. I might be. I might be. I might be. Codex, come here. Actually, that actually was enough. We don't have to worry about it. Sometimes I'm astounded by my own enormous, enormous brain. <laughs> and with that, Diabolus defeated? Easy peasy. Amazing. Now all you have to do is carefully sneak out the door, repair the lifter, grab the trip, and get the fuck out before you get swarmed by 150 insects. But that's okay. You'll manage. You'll manage. Hey, uh, grab that. Oh, God. Good luck. Good luck. Lifter. Lifter. I might, I might need you as... Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's all good. And not a single shot was fired. Amazing. Great work. Oh, Crafty. You legend. Credit to Crafty. He's been absolutely knocking it out of the park today. Psychic Suppressor. Psychic Suppressor. Hello. You're going to give me a Persona Mono Sword. Oh, that would turn Captain Birdseye into such a powerhouse. Psychic Suppressor machine tuned to female gender. There's four turrets, one mortar, and two Itakin. That seems pretty easy to take out. Also an unknown threat, but we can get in and get out pretty fast. And there it is. Hello, hello. Should we give Codex the Altex robe? Probably not, given the amount of people that have died the past couple of days. Psychic Fog. It suppresses the world of psychic sensitivity by 30%. It's only plus while the weapon is held. That's actually not terrible. I don't hate that. Right, Crafty, you've got so much to do. My God. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Crafty. There's so much. Big Lord. Yes. Okay. Okay, this is amazing, because now finally Captain Birds, I can get some surgery done. Then we just hit the recruit button. Ah! Oh! Then we hit the recruit button, because I've already loaded their resistance. We'll be good. Yes! Pop Wawa! Pop Wawa, my friend, welcome! Extreme Bright Resistance, Pop Wawa. Yeah, okay, Pop Wawa's just been in prison for like two months, so like... Give him a minute, okay? Now we have two doctors on the job. First things first. Captain Birdseye. Pop War, I'm telling you. Oh, if you fuck that up, if you'd have messed up that arc, I might have put you right back in prison, my friend. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Are we going to deal with that psychic suppression, right? Before we can do... Uh, I, uh, but before we can have Captain Birdseye do surgeries on anyone else. Some Pop War, in this colony, you're not going to have many friends. Poor sweet Codex blames Pig Faction for killing his first child, right? Because they did. They landed a drop pod on his neck. This will help, okay? Kidnapping someone, brainwashing them. That's how you win over friends. <laughs> Average YouTuber messaging his Discord kitten's mindset. It just makes sense. Oh! Okay, that was almost problematic. <laughs> Man, snipers are OP, aren't they? I mean, you wouldn't give the whole squad snipers, but goddamn, that's so good. Now, am I misremembering, or did this place only had like one... It's only had one enemy. Two enemies. Two enemies. Oh, we're halfway there. Here's the real threat. What are we looking at? Three milliters. Okay. When I said real threat, I, I used that, you know, very loosely. They do a lot of heavy lifting. And they're fighting the remaining turrets. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Or maybe, oh, yes, because I get to rob whoever survives. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. That's actually a, like a real, that's a real fucking problem, though. Ah. Uh, rope the alpaca. Rope the alpaca. Get those alpacas roped. Dodge. Dodge. I presume Trendly, uh, Trendly, Trendly fade, fade Caravans don't set off the uh, proximity detectors. We're good. We're not good. We're not good. They do. They do. They do. Okay. Um. Now we haul ass. Now you run. Now you run. Look, look, look. In my defense, that's bullshit. In my defense, that's total, total bullshit horseshit. How was I supposed to know my caravan was going to pop out right next to a mech cluster? Huh? Explain that one. Pop war. What is going on with those ropes? Look at how long they are. Oh, God. Uh, abandon the alpaca. Seriously, just abandon them. Just abandon them. Uh, if I get through that door and that scyther dies in the door and it holds open for the insects, we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I love the chaos. Just drag it into the base. Tank the hits. Drag it into the base. He's going after the person wearing the, the, the masterwork marine armor. So I think we'll be fine. Just bring it in. Don't worry. Don't worry. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. There you go. You're fine. You're all good. Oh. <laughs> Great work. Great work. Really good. Do we not get normal raiders while the insects are active? Because that could be a pain in the ass. Because I'll be honest with you. I was re relying on the raiders to deal with the bugs. Whole squad outfit with marine armor. I will take it. Jesus Christ. I hope they've sworn somewhere that the insects will deal with it. Seems like they might have. Well, that's not good. They did say several groups, though. We've got two groups, two groups down here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know if we're ready for this. Oh, God. There's also a trade caravan. I don't know that we're ready for this. I don't know that we'd ever be ready for this. <laughs> okay. World War Three on my lawn. Here goes 
Nothing. Will they move down to help their friends when they start getting attacked by bugs? Uh, yes. Yes, they will. Well, that's good. Um, oh, they've already taken out so many. They must have had triple rocket launches and stuff like that. Oh, shit. Well, this could be great. Okay. Um, I won't bother drafting my people up quite yet, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, one, gr one group's off. One group's flaying. Two groups are flaying. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't think they did much damage to those bugs, did they? Oh, shit. My only hope is now that they don't just immediately rush and attack the kill box. Because I don't know how many are left. Oh, it's going to be really hard to tell how many are left alive, eh? Fucking hell. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, you son of a bitch. I don't know why they decided to go all in on the attack. I mean, I can't blame them. They just had their home burnt down. That's fair enough, really. Oh, God, help me. Help me, exotic goods trader. Good luck, squad. Good luck, squad. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best. Captain Birdseye, maybe actually go forward. What do we think? Do we think stand at the entrance and let Captain Birdseye shoot a few as they come through? I could fuck with that. I could fuck with that. Or we just use Captain Birdseye's bait, which I feel horrible for saying. Would you just stand there and just slice him as they come through? Kapow. 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 This is good. This is working well. And I presume the lifters will come up here. Oh, God. Our turrets are not going to last long. Oh, sweet Jesus. The second that shield belt looks like it's going to pop, we get Birdseye out of there. Actually, we might be okay. Actually, we might be very okay. Look at the fire. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. Well, just be careful, Birdseye. Just be careful. Just be careful. Now, bear in mind, we got a backup doctor. I'm not super concerned. This, this, this shit here, where it's slowing them down and feeding them to us one at a time is working so bloody well. And now someone's just thrown a Molotov there. The exotic goods traders, to their credit, are actually helping out quite a bit. Oh, my God. I think that's almost... There's still a lot of mega spiders alive. Let's not, let's not celebrate yet. But I think we'll be okay. Wow, what a goddamn mess that was. Holy crap. There's a fun side effect of having 300,000 colony wealth, huh? Oh, God, the Muffalo's are getting shot. Gene Pack Red, Gene Pack Wimpy, two advanced components. They, they, they better not blame me for that. I don't think they will because it was bugs. We haven't had any pop-ups saying, oh, because member died, blah, 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 blah. I think we're fine. Oh, bird's eye. Oh, bird's eye, my friend. Oh, bird's eye. Let's move you back slightly. Even though the shield's fine. Oh, what's that? Skill trainer and animals. Okay. If it burns, it burns. I'm not going out of my way to get it. It is raining. You hope it's raining. Shit, son, we might be okay. We might be okay. They did a lot of damage. Like an environmental nightmare, these insects are, huh? Okay, now this might cause us some diplomatic issues. Agrahan 2 has died. That's fine. <gasps> there are the there are other muffalo died. Look, drill arms. Skill trainers and artistic. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful bonnet legs. Oh, it's a beautiful occasion. I genuinely think we're fine. Go out there and quickly take apart all of the hives. And then I can unrestrict everybody. That was the best long-term play I've maybe ever made. That was the best long-term play anyone's ever made. You can't deny it. They could have also got us horribly killed and was a shit idea. I totally agree. Yeah, it was a fucking terrible plan. Now that you mentioned it, strip that person. They've got marine armor. <gasps> Televisions and pistols and everything. Absolutely every. This has done wonders for our colony wealth. If you two are trying to get to the Arco Nexus, why not summon roughly 500 insects and then feed an exotic goods trader to them? Works perfectly. Did all my lifters survive? Oh, so we're good. We can just get all that hauled into the stockpile then. Boy, I can't wait to see the next raid. <laughs> no, that's the type of shit I want on my charge rifle. Poo, pop, pop, were kicking ankle shankle. You know what? You can equip that. You know, give it to ankle shankle. Maybe we wouldn't draw pictures of how crap you are if you were better. Go! Go, damn you! Uh... Oh, I'm so close! Fucking Lynx is at this hour in this city, localized entirely in my kill box. <sighs> I've made a mistake. Oh, I've made a mistake. I've made a terrible mistake. I've made a terrible, terrible, awful, awful, awful mistake. Awful, unforgivable mistake. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank God. Oh, problem solved. That was almost the end of the entire base. To be fair, it still could be, depending on how powerful those traps are. And there, at long last, in a drug-fueled rampage, we've made it up to 370,000. We don't need 370,000, but what we do need is to become an ally with... Qua Funhina. So I made a, a little spare, a little spare to send off to them. All we need now are transport pods, and we're done with our first base. As I've said before, we finish this base, then I'll increase the difficulty, and I will lower the amount of money we need for the next part of the Arco Nexus, and then we'll do that until eventually 
we punch him in the face. Genuinely thought it was a mod that added the build transport pod button. It must have been added in biotech, right? That's crazy. That's so crazy. Where's the yayo? Hold on. Yayo. <laughs> 3,000. Oh, Christ. I don't need that much. No. No. You've just you've ruined my day. You've just ruined my day. We've got a caravan over there. We've actually got a caravan over there. 5.1 days? Oh, good lord. Good god. Piss off. Piss off. Will you get out? Oh, god, that's a lot. Oh, my god, that's a lot. They all breathe fire, don't they? Oh, god, that's a lot. Okay, um, Captain. Captain Birdseye. My sweet friend, Captain Birdseye. Oh, oh, this is a goddamn fucking nightmare. Oh, this is a goddamn nightmare. This is every, this is every good Rim Rim's nightmare. Just get in there and start, 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 start blasting. Start slicing. Start slicing and dicing, Captain Birdseye. Oh my god! Your armor burned off? Okay. Okay, a little messy. Little messy, but everyone's up. We're awake. We're fine. You see? Oh! Send her back. Send her back. Send her back. Send her back. Hello. How you doing? Send her back. Captain Birdseye. Oh, you didn't exactly get very far, did you? Fucking hell. <laughs> send her back. What if they don't take Yayo? Maybe they'll just take Psychoid leaves? Birdseye. Trade. And then I can just say gift, and then we haven't got to worry about it. That might just do it. We've got to, got to get up to allies, so I'm going to give them everything. Hello there. Change to gift mode. Please take... Yeah, oh my god, they do. Yes. Oh. Oh, thank god. And now... My god. <laughs> Bring five of your people and five of your animals anywhere you want on the planet to start a new colony. Before we do that, I have some final things that I want to do. Final things that I've queued up here to give our people the best chance possible when we move house. Now, you might have noticed I've already cleaned the save game preemptively after that massive raid of Itskin and all those bloody insects because it started running like shit. So we've still got 374,000. I think, I think all we need to do is just get the bionics installed in our people and get ready to reform the ideology. That would be super important. I like that idea a lot. Very nice. 728. Okay. A visionary peeling. We could peel someone's eyes. The best way to do it, if we want them to be partly blind so that it fulfills the mood benefit and uh, and have them be good at combat, is we peel both their eyes or we peel one and swap out with a, uh, a bionic eye. Kapow, good mood. Good mood. Good mood. Well done. Then along with that, I want to make sure that they haven't got any negatives. So you've got a, a stab scar on your leg, which we'll sort out. I want to give you that bionic eye as well. That takes to a minus two because you've also got half blind, which is something. That's something. Mainly I'm doing it for the development points. Kapow. Nine out of ten. There we are. Need to buy a bit more plasteel so that we can do a little more of the uh, of the stuff crafting so that we can make ourselves nice and good and happy. Everybody's got marine armor. Everybody's got a good weapon or a charge rifle. Either works. Obviously, you've got a sniper rifle, but it's legendary. That's pretty good. Final healing enhancer is being built. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I had no doubt. This was a lovely clean Starra Hospital. I just installed it in the wrong arm. Oh, Christ. Okay, now we've got to do it again. <laughs> Take two. This one's far more important. This is an architect arm. Don't fuck this up. Oh, okay. That's everybody sufficiently legged. That's everybody with a healing enhancer, which to make them slightly better, but not amazing. Everybody has the best arm we can craft and the best weapons in the game. So I think without further ado, is there anything else we need to do at all? I would say not. I would say not. The only thing I like to do is from the ideology, but we can do that once we get to our new place. I think pain is virtue is on the cards. Who do we take with us? And where do we go to live? Now, this is what I'm going to leave for all of you in the comments to decide. In my opinion, Codex, Captain Birdseye, Crafty, Flippers, Popwower, who I will rename, and Kushanka, though is, of course, Codex's child. Uh, or at least, I, 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 uh, Codex raised them. Codex is also been trying to flirt with them and doesn't view them as a child so we've got to be we've got to view this as uh utilitarian and probably leave them behind we get to pick seven items obviously we take the orbital bombardment target so we take the charge rifles and we take oh god we've just got to take the weapons then we've just got to take the weapons i've got a choice and then you can pick somewhere lovely in the world for us to live i would just pick based on biome and convenience to a road to be totally honest with you so throw them at me next City will be 100,000 wealth, and we will turn the difficulty up. We're on whatever the medium difficulty is right now, so we're going one up. Then the city after that, 50,000 highest difficulty. Merciless, or whatever it's called these days. And then after that, through that trial of, of blood and death, we will punch an Arcotech. My god, it will be glorious. And without further ado, of course, thank you all for joining me, you big 
Poopy Poopies. Thank you additionally to Bugsy's Sticky Venus, Rambler Uno, Lawbringer, Zonny the Beard, Snickerdoodle, Space Strike, Iguana Dome, Try the H, Clotendo, Rock Dave and Reth, Rock, 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 Bleh, Bleh. Rock Death Raven, Hudsu Wudsu, Kira, Amazilla, Tumegobot, R997123, Felpy, Mr. Drenger, Jai Guru, The Link King, Jurgen, Jomrag Candy, Zandy Candy, Goochman, Xenoparo, Mathanius, Iron Bull, and N Baxterino for their support. The executive producers over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me. It is always much appreciated, much obliged. And a thank you as well to King of Outcastia, Elizabeth Lagros, Ichigo Nads, Gendalf Spanish, Fungus Joe, Bumbly, Runar, Tenacious Bloom, Dorian, Ice Wolf, Liam Smith, Sabers, Evolution Monkey, Dr. Luden, Mad Maven, and Max Diesel as well. Goodbye, and see you all very soon. Bye 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 bye